Miss Hellier here, and I don't know about you, but I'm really missing school right now. Mm. And one of my favourite things about school that I'm missing is ECAs. So just like you're able to do your learning online, I thought why not do some ECAs online? So once a week I'm going to post a video of something fun and creative for you to do at home. So for our first week of ECAs we're going to use some origami, which is making things out of pieces of paper. And what we're going to make today is some finger puppets. So this is one that I made earlier. And if you can see that, it's a little cat. Now, I don't have any colouring pencils or anything to make this look better than it is, but hopefully you do at home and yours will look even better than mine does. Okay, so all you need is one piece of paper, a ruler, a pair of scissors and a pencil. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is make a square out of your piece of paper. Okay, so I did mine 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres. Okay, so all I'm going to do is draw out a box on my piece of paper and make it 10 centimetres wide and 10 centimetres long. Okay, so take your ruler measure 10 centimetres along the bottom of your piece of paper make a little mark and then measure 10 centimetres across and draw that line and then 10 centimetres again draw a line Okay, so you should have a 10 by 10 centimetre box. Okay, and then what you're going to do is cut your box out. Okay, you can put this piece of paper to the side, you don't need that anymore, all you're going to be using is this tiny little square. Okay, so step one, all you're going to do is fold one of the corners towards the opposite corner. Okay, like that, and then you're going to unfold it and do the same with the other corners. Okay, like that, so when you open it up, you should have four lines. Okay, so now with your piece of paper, you're going to fold it back so you've got a triangle. Okay, and then you're going to take the right hand corner of the triangle and fold it towards this middle line here. Okay, like that. And then you're going to do the same on the other side. So take the corner and fold it towards the middle line. So you should be left with something. It looks like that. Okay, so from here you're going to take the bottom and fold it up like that. And then the same on the other side, fold. So then you're going to take the bottom part, just the top layer of the piece of paper, and you're going to fold that up 
like that, okay? And then for the next step, you're gonna turn your piece of paper around so it's facing that way. Okay, so with your piece of paper facing this way, you're then gonna take these corners on the side and just slightly fold them in. Okay, like that. And then the same on the other side. Okay, you're then gonna take this bottom piece and you're gonna fold that up over the two pieces that you've just folded in. Like that. Okay, so next bit, you're just gonna take this top bit here and fold all of the pieces down, okay? You might need to stick that just so it stays down because it doesn't stay down very well on its own. Okay, but you just fold that top bit down and then you're gonna turn your piece of paper around so it's facing this way. Okay, so you've then got your capped head and you just need to now draw a face on. So take your pencil and you can draw a cat face. So two eyes, a little nose and some whiskers. Okay, like that. And then the bottom of your puppet should open like that so you can stick it on your finger. Okay, you can also put it on the end of your pencil if you want instead, like so. Okay, like I said earlier, I don't have any colouring pencils unfortunately, so mine looks really, really boring. But if you do have some colouring pencils at home, make sure you colour it in so it looks even better. You can also have a go at making different animals, so you can just draw a different face on. So maybe like a rabbit face or a fox's face, or you can change the shape of the ears. So if you fold the ears down, and you just draw a different face on, you can even make a dog. Okay, so have a go, see what different animals you can come up with and send me any of your photos to my email address, which is ehelia at alienacademy.sch.ae. Thank you for watching.